you going guys? I just got back from a bit of a hike in fishing trip on the weekend and I just wanted to run through all the gear that I took down with me so you guys plan an adventure, don't forget anything important. Now I'm going to go through what's in the pack, what's in the bum bag and then all the other little knickknacks that I've taken along the way that might help you out. Now we're going to start with the pack first and we'll, uh, we'll work our way down. So starting off, in the loop of the pack, just got me head torch and a little head handheld torch as well. Quick and easy to grab, nice and accessible. When you need it, you know where they are. So there in the lid. Now flip the lid over, you got a section under the lid. Still readily accessible, but uh, you can fill it up a bit more. So there I've got a fly net for when the flies really start to annoy you. Batteries for the head torch. Lens cleaning kit, that's just for cleaning sunglasses, camera lenses and whatnot. Bug spray, very important. Garbage bag, now these things come in handy all the time, whether it's the storing wet clothes, uh, keeping yourself dry, you can use them as a poncho, it's always handy to have a couple with you. <laughs> Not as handy as toilet paper. Forget to take this bad boy with you and you're going to have a very close relationship with a tree or some leaves or whatever you can find. Don't forget it. And put it in a plastic bag because if it rains you don't want to get wet. Uh, spare bag, also plastic uh, with all my GoPro batteries and spare camera batteries. Another good one to remember and easy to grab. That's it for the front. Now, in the main section of the bag, now sitting on top of this one is a bit of a hot tip for the young players. Grab yourself a water bladder, similar to what you find in the camelback or whatnot. And that can sit anywhere and you can deflate it, um, take all the water out, roll it up when you don't need it. Where we were, we could actually drink the river water. So only really need to take this with you and you can just fill it up when it goes empty. But for the hike in and out, we need to take more water. So these things are great. You can just sit them on the top of your pack uh, most, most packs have a little hole that you can feed it through and clip it onto your, your side harness there. Um, so very handy to have with you. Oh, another little hot tip. Grab yourself one of these. This is called a pack liner. Now this lines the inside of your pack, it's like a big dry bag. So if it rains and you don't have a cover for your backpack, everything still stays dry. You don't want to be sleeping on wet bedding and have all your food and everything get soaked. So. Great bit of kit, they weigh nothing too. So inside the pack, got my gators. We were in a uh, pretty snaky country. So always good to have these ones here, just a bit of an insurance policy, keep you safe. These are, these are kind of mid-height ones, they clip over your boots. They're not full length, full length ones get a little hot in summer. Now, a raincoat, just a lightweight, uh, spray jacket, always handy to have. Pretty self-explanatory. Little little wet pack here. Now in here, got all the essentials. We've got some strapping tape in case someone does an ankle. We've got blister patches, betadine in case you need disinfecting something. I've got water tablets. Now always take these with you. So if you get down to where you're going, where you're fishing, the water's no good. You're going to need these to pull you out of trouble. Uh, we've got pork ointment, toothbrush, toothpaste, another good one, a pair of tweezers, you always get things stuck in your fingers and then legs when you're out in, the, out in the bush, and a bit of Panadol, and earplugs. Now if you have friends like mine, they all snore, so earplugs ensure you get a good night's sleep. Hot tip for you. Put that over there. Got me two fishing reels, but I'll go into them shortly. I've got what's left of my food bag. Now I've had all my food in, uh, in this big Ziploc bag here. Muesli bars, hiking bars, um, satchels of tuna, lollies. Can't go anywhere without lollies to keep the morale high. But yeah, fill it up, keep it all together. That way you don't have little, little muesli bars and stuff finding their way into the back of your pack. And it's all, all together all nice and neat. Now while we're on the food, 
These are the dehydrated meals that we took down there. Um, this one's spaghetti bolognese by Backcountry Cuisine. Now you can get these from BCF and, and all the hiking stores. They're lightweight and they're a really good meal. Um, hot tip on flavours, wild mushroom risotto and Thai chicken curry. Go to, you won't be disappointed. Ah, this little contraption. Now it's in a dry bag for a reason. This is a little power bank. Now I took a fair bit of camera gear with this as well. It's, uh, it's quite large, but I can charge me phone, all my cameras and everyone else's camera as well while you're down there. So pretty handy, especially when you're away from power like we were, we're in the middle of nowhere, nowhere to plug into a power point. I've got this, this is a little, uh, little collapsible day pack. So when we leave the big packs behind, this just folds out and turns into a little backpack. I can chuck a few snacks in there, a bit of fishing gear, and we can walk up and down the gorge. This was actually came in surprising handy. I didn't think I'd use it that much, and I bought it just on a whim. But awesome, awesome handy bit of kit. Um, used it more than I thought. What else we got? Oh, my, my cooking pouch. So on here, I've got my cutlery. Pop out cup. And, and bowl. Didn't really find a use for anything bigger than that. These two did me just fine. And then I've also got a collapsible kettle. Now that just pops out and you can boil water in there. Great for boiling water you want to drink or heating up your water for your uh, freeze dried meals. So definitely need something you can do that with. Now to go with the cooking, I've got me a little, little, another little cooker there. That's for uh, boiling up a bit of tea or a bit of water. And it's also got my little burner stove on there, so I've got a little collapsible one like that. That slots on top of this guy here. And that's, that's your burner. You can get a lot smaller ones than these. Um, I still had a bit left in this one, so I took it with us because we're going for a few days. You don't really want to run out. So, yeah, you can get small ones. Another dry bag. Now, this had all my clothes for the trip. Now, for the three day trip, I took two shirts, two pairs of pants, uh, a couple of face masks just to keep the sun off, two pairs of socks, a jumper and a pair of track pants. because You never know when the weather's gonna change, especially when you can't see a weather report. But that collapses down, you can squeeze the air out of it so it's pretty compact, and it's in a dry bag as well, just to stop it all getting wet. Another little hot tip. Now from there, we go into the sleeping stuff. We've got my tent, it's a little two-man hiking tent. Um, that's fairly lightweight, I think it weighs about three kilos. Not bad for a tent. Um, but you definitely wouldn't be, want to be without them. You could also use a hammock. One of the guys used a hammock and it was great, lightweight. But uh, I like a tent. You can put all your gear inside when it rains and um, yeah, they're not too big, they don't take up much space. <clears throat> Sleeping bag, pretty self-explanatory. Now I didn't think I'd need one of these, but I took one anyway. It's a little uh, inflatable pillow. They pack down to nothing. They make your night's sleep a, uh, a whole lot better. I usually just, um, <coughs> excuse me, I usually just use my, my clothes, uh, clothes dry bag as a pillow, but trust me, these are a lot more comfortable. And finally, just a little inflatable mattress, because a lot of the time the ground isn't so forgiving, there's a few rocks and stuff around, so make sure you get yourself a good one of these, and nice, small and compact as well. What else we got? Oh, and a towel. So we went swimming. Now, that's it for inside the pack. Now, clipped onto the outside. Have my little metal water bottle. Nice and accessible. You can grab a drink whenever you want. Um, one of my GoPros, that's on an extendable shaft. For doing underwater shots and panning and whatnot. Pretty handy to have. This guy here clips in the side. Little hiking tripod. Same thing, lightweight, but still a nice good height. So, Filming comes in very much comes in handy. Um, then we'll go into fishing gear. So I took with me a three-piece 
Shimano Raider, or that's a native series bait caster. And they come in these great little tubes, which also have room for another rod. So I fit, managed to fit my fly rod in there, my uh, four piece fly rod. Or is it three piece? Four piece, it was right. So fly rod fits in there as well. Um, acts as a great little storage container, and that just sits in the side of your bag. And it doesn't stick up that high either, so you can walk around trees and under stuff and it doesn't get hung up. So that's a cool little feature by Shimano. Now to go on those, I've got a little, it's a little uh, Calcutta Compress DC reel. That goes on the bait caster. And I took my fly reel as well. And that obviously goes on my fly reel. Now, on the front of the backpack, pair of lip grips, we're chasing cod, so lip grips are really good to have, uh, really good for grabbing fish, um, for photos, and also just landing fish in general, because obviously you can't take a net with you, so it just makes the whole process a whole lot easier. And I took my GoPro dome down as well to get some uh, underwater shots, and that just clipped on there with a couple of small carabiners. Uh, not an essential bit of kit, but nice to have if you're planning on doing some filming. Now that's everything I took in the backpack. Now I took a bum bag with me as well. That's this guy here, and just wore that around my waist. And in that I had all my fishing stuff. So because we were fishing as we were walking, you just have that nice and accessible, you change lures, um, you get leader, everything you need fishing wise is just right there. So little Tupperware containers. In that one there, I'll do a, a close shot for you while I'm talking to it. I've got a couple of service lures, spare trebles, a few odds and ends in that one. And then in my second one, got me bigger lures, got me Savage Gear Duck, never leave home without it, and a few other odds and ends, spinner baits, whatnot, a rat, and um, just, just the bigger stuff that wouldn't fit in the smaller containers. Now in there, you've also got a spare leader. Uh, we didn't change lead too much, I just used 30 pound, didn't take any more, didn't actually end up using any more, but always good to have some. And the front hatch here, pair of pliers and a lighter. Now, lighters are great for burning knot ends, um, starting pliers, you never know when you might need one, so make sure you got one with you. Apart from that, I took my camera and a second GoPro. One of the other guys, they took a first aid kit, so make sure you've got one of those in your team with you. And uh, we also took a personal e -perp. Now where we were was pretty remote. Uh, there, was, there was no one no one in the near vicinity, so the personal e -perp was yeah, pretty well a lifeline for the whole trip. Um, so make sure you get one. You can hire them or buy them. It's cheap as, make sure you got one. Now the whole pack weighed about 25 kilos um, with water. So it's pretty substantial. There's obviously things that you can cut down and tailor to your, towards your trip, but most of these things um, I took, I found useful. Well guys, that's about it. 